आ गई चंद्रयान थ्री की लॉन्चिंग डेट इस बार नहीं होगी कोई चूक इसरो ने चुना ये खास डिजाइन चंद्रयान तीन का इंतजार अब खत्म होने वाला है इसकी लॉन्चिंग डेट भी सामने आ गई है भारतीय अंतरिक्ष अनुसंधान संगठन शुक्रवार 14 जुलाई को दोपहर दो बजकर 35 मिनट पर चंद्रयान थ्री की लॉन्चिंग करेगा इस बार स्पेसशिप में ज्यादा फ्यूल और कई सेफ्टी मेजर्स किए गए हैं ताकि मिशन नाकाम ना हो साथ ही इस बार लैंडिंग साइट भी बड़ी होगी सॉफ्टवेयर में गड़बड़ी के चलते सितंबर 2019 में चंद्रयान दो की क्रैश लैंडिंग हो गई थी ऐसे में इस बार फेलियोर बेस्ड डिजाइन तैयार किया गया है कि कुछ चीजें गलत होने पर भी लैंडर चंद्रमा पर सफलतापूर्वक उतर सके इसरो चीफ ने इसके बारे में जानकारी दी क्या कुछ कहा सुनिए so ability so in nutshell if you ask tell what was the problem in chandrayaan 2 the it is simple to say that the ability to handle parameter variation or dispersion was very limited so what we did this time is simply expand that further look at what are things that can go wrong so we instead of success based design in chandrayaan 2 we are doing a failure based design in chandrayaan 3 what all can fail and how to protect it so this is the approach that we are taken so for that we did many things one we expanded the area of landing half a kilometer by half a kilometer to 4 kilometer by 2.5 kilometer 4 kilometer along the track and 2.5 kilometer width anywhere it can land so it doesn't limit you to target a specific point it will target a specific point only in nominal conditions 4 by 2.5 4 kilometer by 2.5 kilometer suppose the performance is poor it will it can land anywhere within that area hmm. second uh, method is that we gave more fuel so that it it has more capability to travel or candle dispersions or move to an alternate landing site so this is the second approach then we looked at very many failures sensor failure engine failure uh, the, con- the, the algorithm failure uh, calculation failure even whatever may fail nothing is there still we wanted it to land at the required speed and rate so there are different different failure scenarios calculated and programmed inside and there is one benefit from chandrayaan 2 that Chandrayaan 2 had a very high resolution camera on board. It's called a orbital high res- resolution camera. This camera gave very good pictures, almost 28 centimeter high resolution image of the entire moon. With that, we were able to find out uh, the landing site much better way than last time. Last time we were taking images from the lander and then analyzing in ground and telling how to do the landing. This time we already know the details of the landing site, the boulders, the craters, everything is well mapped and it's already programmed into the land up so it knows where it exactly once you takes an image it will compare with the stored image and say i am already there so it can exactly know the coordinates where to land only thing it has to see final corrections any that is called any boulders or crater which are bigger than 30 cm it will look for and then land safely so that's the only thing required this time and we added other failure modes this other there are plenty of failure modes in this it's not just soft landing after landing if it doesn't generate power there is a danger it will not work so it has to face sun so if it doesn't face sun what will like happen we ask this question so we created additional solar panels on other surfaces <coughs> then we uh, asked if it lands with higher velocity what will happen can it not land then we increase the uh, vertical velocity component from 2 meter per second to 3 meter per second and tested it totally then we wanted to find out what all electronics interference with the propulsion so we tested uh, the craft with the full integrated thing in uh, different scenarios and found certain issues also there and corrected all of them like electronics and uh, the propulsion will have created vibration sensitive things like that so all these are settled then we did elaborate testing using helicopter flying over terrains we had cranes which will test the landing processes then we did new test beds so simulation which is very which was not there last time especially to look at failure scenarios in we put hardware electronics sensors all together and s- simulate uh, the initial parameters which will be widely dispersing like thrust going upper bound beyond upper bound we call it 3 sigma to 6 sigma 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 means it is a standard deviation in a dispersion case so generally we th- we say that in generally things go up to 3 sigma but we disper- dis- dispersion will given up to 6 sigma almost double of that in terms of standard deviation still see the landing happens perfectly then we created scenarios of some items not working something not there etc etc still it should land somehow 
सो दिस इज अप्रोच वी आर टेकअप दिस टाइम आपको बता दें कि चंद्रयान तीन चंद्रमा पर पता करेगा कि वहां का तापमान कैसा है स्तर पर भूकंप कैसे और कितने आते हैं वहां प्लाज्मा एनवायरनमेंट कैसा है और वहां की मिट्टी में कौन से तत्व है टेस्ट इसी साल मार्च में चंद्रयान तीन ने लॉन्चिंग के दौरान होने वाले वाइब्रेशन और साउंड वाइब्रेशन को सहन करने की अपनी क्षमताओं का सफलतापूर्वक पास कर लिया था अमेरिकी अंतरिक्ष एजेंसी नासा भी चांद की लेजर रेजिंग की स्टडी करेगी इस खबर में फिलहाल इतना ही ताज़ा अपडेट के लिए बने रहें वन इंडिया हिंदी के साथ